And that is our last caller from Arizona, Sarah in Glendale. She did ask for my advice, and she's trying to go through the hoops. The party is demanding that she go through. And, for, for example, the party thinks, the Republican Party, she wants to run for office. She's a Trumpist. The Republican Party thinks you need to come up through the ranks. You need to run for local school board or, or some local office and do that for a while, then step up to dog catcher and then step up to something and then maybe 10 years into your political career, maybe run for Congress. Either the House or the Senate. And I think that frankly now is BS. When I was young, that's how things were done. So I would apply the same thing here to politics. It used to be that's how you had to advance in politics, in electoral politics. You'd have to start small and keep building up, build a name for yourself, establish a good works agenda, what happened. But now, look at Trump. Trump was elected president, had never run for anything. That's reason number one, they hate the guy. He ran for president and won. Not supposed to be possible. Not in any way, shape, manner, or form. That was the, the thing that outraged them as much as anything. Before you even get to his personality, before you get to the object, object, uh, objectionable things about his uh, personality and all that, just the fact that he showed them up I say you don't even need any experience to be elected to the top office in the world. He did it, and he did it relative, and he did it beating Hillary Clinton, which that was not supposed to be possible. So they despised the guy from the get-go for that alone. So, Sarah, whether you're a Trumpist or not, go for it. Take what you believe, start your campaign, and go for it. But I think it's like any other job in the world. If you want it, and if you have the passion for it, having the passion for it is what's gonna is what's gonna make you endure all the garbage that's part of it. And there's a lot of that, no matter what the job is, in politics or anything else. It is your passion. Like I, I mentioned, I got fired seven times. My passion is what allowed me to remain dedicated to my desires. My desires were the top of the list of why I did what I did and why I was willing to put up with all the garbage. And you've got to have the same kind of passion for what you want to do. But don't, don't let the party's antiquated thinking uh, steal your passion from you. If you think you're the answer, if you think you've got the ticket, if you think you are what people in Arizona need, then by all means, go for it. And if you're not successful the first time, try again. If you find out that you really love it in this campaign, then go for it. I'm all for people doing what they love. Whatever the circumstances of the moment happen to be, you'll eventually succeed at this. And you need to have that confidence about it. That's the way that that would that's the advice I would give you.